Well, you know, COVID-19 concerns have changed the way we do everything these days, and that includes how we prepare for hurricane season, now just 33 days away. Tonight, Sarah Hollenbeck with this angle. Emergency officials are inside this building right now, planning for the first time for a hurricane during a pandemic. We've seen bigger, stronger storms, you know, with each hurricane season, so we need to be ready for it. Amber Boulding in St. Pete's Emergency Management Office says her biggest concern is making sure hurricane evacuees will have at least six feet of space to spread out in shelters, as medical experts warn about a potential second wave of COVID-19 cases. If we're not prepared for a hurricane in the face of what we're looking at right now, you know, we potentially have a recipe for more of a disaster. One idea gaining traction is to use federal funds to rent out hotels where evacuees could spread out to individual rooms. Another idea is to use rideshare services to transport evacuees instead of large buses. National Weather Service meteorologist Dan Noah worries that COVID-19 concerns could lead to fewer people evacuating. Evacuation is a tough thing because it's a very personal decision. It's very hard to determine uh, how people will react. Pinellas and Hillsborough counties are also looking at requirements for masks and temperature checks to get into hurricane shelters and encouraging everyone to use shelters as a last option. Try and find a place that is in a non-evacuation zone. Maybe a friend's uh, house or something like that that maybe has a a separate bedroom with a bathroom so you can even, you know, reduce interaction. Officials also want you to check your evacuation zone and start stocking up any of your supplies because many of them are already in short supply at stores because of COVID-19. Reporting in Pinellas County, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.